Hello. So in this episode, we're going to see another interesting science experiment. This, I call it as hole in the palm. Hole in the palm? Come on. There's no hole in my palm is what you would say. Well, some children who are very creative would say, yes, yes, that's very easy. Come on. I do have so many holes in my palm. See, you know, I can make it between my fingers or I can keep it like this. And you can see a small little hole here in the form of a depth there. Or they could say, see, I have a hole in the palm, a big hole here right through. Well, no, that's not the answer. Or rather, I'm going to ask you to create a hole in the palm here. Do you have one? You don't have. But let's try and see how do we create a hole in the palm without, of course, using sharp instruments or knives. How do we do that? So this is superb, interesting for, as I keep telling, students, adults, whatever be the age group you're going to be doing this experiment with. Let's see. Take a sheet of paper. I have a newspaper here. So I'm going to take a sheet of paper or the newspaper here. You could take up any sheet of paper, A3 size, A4 size, notebook size, except that don't take the small post-it kind of size paper, preferably a notebook or, you know, something which is slightly bigger than that is absolutely okay. Magazines, anything. So I want you to use that paper that you have got and roll it like this like what I have. So when you're rolling it, do, you know, ask children, what kind of a shape is this? And then they could come up with answers like, okay, it looks like my pencil box. or oh, it looks like a cylinder. It looks like a pipe, depending on what is the age group you're talking to. Uh, remember, the mouth of this particular tube, or as I call it, cylinder, should be big enough, you know, because obviously when you roll it, you can roll it very small like this too. Let me show it to you. Because these are things people do it and then, you know, they will not be able to find out the trick and not be able to make a hole in the palm. Do not make it so small. I want this hole to be big enough to cover your eye. Now, when I say cover your eye, this is what I mean. So have it slightly big enough, this big, so that when I place it, let me remove my glasses so that I can show it to you. When I place it on my eye, I'm able to look through that. So this has to cover your entire eye and not part of the eye like this. It has to cover your entire eye. Create the hole big enough to cover the entire eye. So two things to remember. One is to make that. Second is throughout the experiment, both your eyes are going to be open because we generally tend to, you know, when you place it here, you will close one eye. Do not do that. So these are two things you'll have to remember. The hole has to be big enough to cover your entire eye. You can place it on your left eye or your right eye, however you're comfortable. And remember, when you're keeping both your eyes open and you're keeping this particular, let me call this a cylinder, in your one of your eyes, the other hand, because in one hand you're holding this, the other hand, you're going to place your palm beside it. Remember, you're not going to cover it here, but place it beside it. And place it not so close, but slightly closer to the mouth of this particular other end of the cylinder. Not covering it, just beside it. If I can show it like this to you. So it should be in such a way that you're keeping your palm beside the cylinder and the cylinder is touching one of your eye. The entire eye is covered. Both eyes open and you see, you will see a big hole and through the hole, I can actually see the camera on the other side. Would you like to try it out? And I want you to come back and write in the comment section on why did this happen? There was really no hole in my palm, but when I see through this, with the way I have mentioned it, I can see a big hole in this part of my palm. Yes, there is a hole in the palm. And how did it appear? So do write in the comment section on what you think is the science behind it. And we will come back definitely to give you the answer in the next episode. So do try this out. Science is amazing. Help your children to do these kind of experiments. Understand what is the logic behind it? What is the science behind it? And this will enable them to start looking at, okay, how do things work then? Okay, this is something which was not there, but then how did it happen? How did it come? And that's the way they would want to know about the world around them. 
So have fun with science.